In the last video, we went over the different KPIs you can monitor to analyze the impact of your ASO effort. Let's now take a look at how you can use AppTweak to monitor your app's overall performance, compare it with competitors, and estimate the uplift of your ASO effort. Analytics is a very insightful section that will help you measure the impact of your ASO effort. It provides data on your app's category ranking, downloads, revenues, and more. In these sections, you can monitor your app's performance and compare it with competitors. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's start with category ranking. Here, you can monitor the performance of your app in terms of category ranking. You can filter here to see reports for your app's primary category, a secondary category, or the all category. First, we'll show you some key performance indicators for your app over a given date range. AppTweak estimates the number of downloads that your app needs to get each day to reach a certain ranking in its category. This can help you gauge how far or how close your app is to reaching the next ranking level. Below, the ranking history graph allows you to monitor the evolution of your app's category ranking day by day. Select or unselect a competitor to visualize their data in the graph for a direct competitor comparison. If you want to compare your app's overall performance without looking at the day-to-day -day movements, you can use our summary table below. This table is also helpful for an overview of the categories that your competitors are referenced in. You can use the toggle buttons to understand your app and your competitors' average rankings over the selected date range. On AppTweak, there are two more powerful insights here that can reveal your app's category ranking and its evolution over time. The left icon over here shows the top chart history. Here, you'll see all the apps that rank in the top 10 of your chosen category, like sports games, for example. This will help you understand how the top 10 has changed over time. For instance, if you notice that your app suddenly lost a few ranking positions, this view will help you expose the apps that have taken over. The other icon shows the ranking history of all the apps ranking in the top 10 today. This can help you quickly identify trending apps within your category. Alongside category ranking, you can also monitor your app power. The app power is a KPI developed by AppTweak that indicates an app's overall performance in the stores. It's a number between zero and 100 and helps app publishers understand how powerful their app is in the stores. The app power allows you to measure and compare apps from different categories under one singular KPI. Here, you can monitor your app's app power over time and compare it with your competitors. Next is your store performance. This section allows you to monitor your app's download estimate. To keep tabs on your real downloads, you'll need to integrate your console with AppTweak. In this section, we first show you a quick overview of your app's main KPIs. In the graph below, you can see the download history chart. If you've already integrated your console, you'll see your app's true downloads. And as soon as you've added some competitors, you'll be able to view their download estimates on the same graph. Integrating your console unlocks additional filters that allow you to analyze downloads by source. It also allows you to track even more data, including your app's impressions and page views. You can add chart notes to any graph in the analytics tab. These allow you to annotate our charts and are super useful to track important app updates or any campaigns. Just click on add note to create a new one. Impact is another super powerful feature that enables you to visualize and measure the impact of your ASO work in one single graph. From this dropdown, you can customize your analytics graphs in two ways. In the events tab, you can visualize when you made any change to your app's metadata like updates to your icon, subtitle, or description directly on the graph. For example, here we can see how FIFA Soccer's downloads increased just a few days after its subtitle changed on September 19th. You can also see the dates of your app's recent featurings or keep a direct note of any algorithm changes. With Plot Against, you can easily compare two different metrics in one graph to better understand their correlation. Similar to our category ranking section, the table below allows you to quickly compare your app's total and average downloads for the selected date range. The confidence interval indicates how confident we are about the estimates. The more data points we have about a certain category, the more confident we can be. In the financial analysis section, you'll find the exact same information as in store performance, but this time in terms of revenue instead of downloads. And once you've integrated your console, the conversion analysis section will allow you to compare your conversion rates with other apps in the industry. This is for both the App Store and Google Play. Tweak enterprise clients can also monitor their app's performance across countries. With the worldwide view, our users can monitor their category rankings, downloads, and revenue estimates 
for any app in any country around the world. Users who connect to their App Store consoles can also access real downloads, impressions, page views, and revenues for any country their app is available in, in a much more intuitive way than on the App Stores themselves. The reports look very similar for category ranking, store performance, and financial analysis. So in this video, we'll just go through the store performance section to give you an idea of the different cross-country insights you can uncover here. The worldwide map clearly indicates the countries that your app or your competitors receive the most downloads in. The darker the country's color, the more downloads the app receives there. The KPIs on the right provide a quick overview of your app's worldwide performance for the selected store and date range. In this specific example, FIFA Soccer received a total of 1.1 million downloads on the App Store over the past month. This equals an average of almost 35,000 downloads per day. Here we can clearly see that the game is downloaded the most in the United States, Brazil, and France. In the table below, you can dig deeper into downloads per country. For each country, you can see the total downloads, average daily downloads, and growth over a certain date range. This growth metric is super interesting to quickly understand where your app is gaining or losing popularity. For more specific insights into the top priority countries that you follow on UpTweet, you can have a look at our followed country view. Here, you'll get to compare your app's cross-country performance in more depth and monitor download growth per country and over time. Integrating your console also unlocks a bunch of extra data that you can compare across countries, including uninstalls or store listing acquisitions for Google Play. Be sure to review your download share per country and monitor the evolution of your daily download growth. If the graph looks cluttered, you can remove a country by clicking its name in the legend. As an ASO practitioner, it's also important for you to keep up to date with the latest changes on both the App Store and Google Play. With our smart insights, you can set up notifications to keep track of every relevant update made by your followed apps and competitors via Slack or email. When you navigate to our Smart Insights, you'll first see a news feed that shows all relevant updates for your apps or your competitors. For example, you can easily discover if one of your followed apps or competitors received an unusually high number of new ratings, if one of these apps made a change to its metadata, if an app was or will be featured, or if we detect an algorithm change on the App Store or Google Play in one of your followed countries. If you want more hands-on access to these insights, you can customize the alerts you'd like to receive. Just go to Configure Smart Insights and select the apps you want alerts for. Then choose Push Notification Options to customize your Slack or email settings. To go one step further in your ASO reporting, you can export your data to one CSV file. We've made it super easy for you to export all the insights you want about all your followed apps in just a few clicks. Let's show you how. When you're on your dashboard, click New Export at the top right corner. This pop-up will allow you to select the apps and data you want to export to your computer. First, choose all the apps and specific countries that you want to export. Then, choose the data sets and date range that you're focused on. You can also include data for your competitors' apps by ticking this box. Last, confirm the data you want to export is all good before providing a name and completing the task. This export will now be saved in your account settings underneath the Export tab. Navigate here to download it onto your computer. Next time you want to export the same data, just navigate again to this section and click Export Another Date Range. Then you'll be able to customize your date range and continue to export your insights easily and quickly.